A lot of people have been wondering how I resolved the lid issue on my Ironwood 885. And after about two months now of working with Traeger, I finally went back to the dealer and instead I upgraded my Ironwood 885 to the Timberline 1300. And the reason is <clears throat> because it, first of all, with Traeger, it took about a month to receive the new lid. And after I received the new lid, it actually closed worse than the original lid. Then I was mailed a secondary lid, which closed the same as the replacement lid. So they weren't a ever able to give me a lid that would fit that barrel correctly. And talking to customer service, and I gotta say, Traeger's customer service was great. They were very responsive and tried to resolve the issue. In fact, they went as far as replacing the grill altogether. They had mailed me a brand new Ironwood 885 that I received just this last week in hopes and taking my old one back in hopes that would completely resolve the issue. Um, but unboxing it, the lid still was off the barrel and I didn't even bother putting it together. So since Traeger was already closed, I thought, you know what, I am going to go ahead and call the dealer that I bought uh, my original Ironwood at. And it's called the Grill Center here in Sherwood, Oregon. And speaking to the owner there, he was willing to take back the Ironwood that I received and then upgrade me to the uh, Timberline 1300 here. Uh, and then I simply paid the difference for that. So um, just brought it home, just got it put together here on the back patio. And I'm gonna get ready for the initial firing coming up next. So stay tuned for that. 